refactoring the worst, most obvious solution. In each of the positive conditions, declare the variables fizz and buzz and assign the values accordingly. If divisible by 3 and 5, fizz is fizz and buzz is buzz. If divisible by 3, fizz is fizz and buzz is nil. If divisible by 5, buzz is buzz and fizz is nil. In order to satisfy the tests, return the joined array of fizz and buzz for each satisfied condition, otherwise return the dividend. At the end of the method, declare a variable called result, which gives the return value of a joined array of fizz and buzz. Write an if-else statement, which returns the original dividend if the result is nil. That is to say, if the number is divisible by neither 3 nor 5, or returns the result, that is, if the number is divisible by either 3 or 5 or both. This fails the test because the return value of a joined array of two nil values in Ruby is not nil, but it is empty. Change the dot nil method to dot empty. The test now passes. A more elegant way of expressing an if-else statement is a ternary conditional, which is composed of the following elements. Condition, question mark, return value if true, colon, return value if false. A simple example is to return true if 100 is greater than 1, otherwise to return false. This obviously returns true. Change the condition to something obviously false, for example 100 is less than 1, and it returns false. Thus, wherever the condition is Boolean, the if-else statement can be expressed on a single line as a ternary conditional. Apply this insight to the if-else statement at the end of the method by expressing it as follows. Result.empty, question mark, dividend, colon, result. Delete the redundant if-else statement. The tests pass. Because the method returns the joined array if one of the conditions is satisfied, it is no longer necessary to return the joined array for each positive condition. Delete all the joined arrays except the one at the end. The tests still pass. By the same token, because the variables fizz and buzz are defined at some point in the method, it is not necessary to define either of them as nil. The joined array at the end of the method will return the same concatenation. Delete the nil declarations of fizz and buzz. The tests still pass. Similarly, the else condition is redundant, thanks to the ternary conditional. Delete the else condition. The tests still pass. Finally, the same principle applies to the rest of the original if statement. Write the following two lines and comment out the original if statement and rerun the tests. Fizz returns fizz if the dividend is divisible by 3. Buzz returns buzz if the dividend is divisible by 5. The tests still pass delete the commented code. The new method retains all of the original functionality in three lines of Ruby code rather than 11.